and we're back, fellow knife enthusiasts. Just Joel here with a land knife, and today I'm got the Cancept Hazakura. Now this knife comes in five different versions currently. I have the Jewel J G10 here, the Black G10. There's also a brown micarta, a black and white micarta, and a 12 carbon fiber version. Now, um, I have to say that. Hazakura, just to give you a quick little background, is the Japanese word for the <clears throat> cherry trees in blossom. Yeah, it's interesting. I just wanted you to let to know that. Now, uh, well deserving of his name. It's both elegant and organic design with Japanese inspiration. Blade opens smoothly and gracefully each time, although it is a front flipper, which anyone who knows me knows I don't care for front flippers but I am willing to show everyone else the different types of knives there are, including front flippers. So, I have to say this handle sits pretty comfortably in the hand. Now, it doesn't have a, a super uh, contouring, but I think I can overlook that simply because of how long the handle is and how it fits well. It doesn't really need contouring, I don't think. It's also pretty light, so it's not going to bring down your pocket while it's in there, which is always good for me. So the specs on this, overall it's 8.125 inches. Blade is 3.5. It's made of 154cm. It's got a trailing point style, a flat grind, stone washed finish, plain edge. Handle on this is about 4.6 inches. This one, of course, is the Jade, Jewel Jade Green G10, or, uh, yeah, Jewel Jade Green G10, yeah. This one is the Black G10. It does have a lanyard hole, a tip-up pocket clip, so there we go. As you can see, the pocket clips match the color of the blade. These liner locks also feature matching backspacers, so whatever the material is of the handle is the material of the backspacer. So on the Jewel J G10, it's Jewel J G10. And on the black, yeah, you guessed it, black G10 handle, black G10 backspacer. I kind of like this open back design they have here. It's not super uh, uh, open because of the backspacer, but I do like that it comes all the way to the blade here. I've seen that on a few other knives, and I've always thought it was very elegant and very open, and I like that. Not crazy about the front flipper design, as I said, but it works okay on this knife. Lots of jimping for precision cutting, which I do think is important. Especially if you're going to have a nice, uh, uh, big flipper open design, you need some jimping. Liners on this are made of stainless steel. Designed by Max Takachuka. Uh, that's as good as I'll get. I'll spell it for you. It's Max T-K-A-C-H-U-K. So I'm sure someone will help me out with the pronunciation there. It's got washers for the pivot system on this. Designed by Cancept. One of their newer knives, I have to say. I don't think it's their first flipper design. I think they've done front flippers before. But I do think that they did an excellent job, especially involving the Jewel JG10. A lot of their uh, 2021 designs have involved Jewel Jade, which I am very, very grateful for because I love the way this looks. Some of them are more green, some of them are more translucent. I think this one's pretty well done. Even though you can see you can see just a little touch of the knife in there, which I like on this one. Some of them you can't see much inside, which is good too. I think the Best Tech Lizard has a, a not really see-through Jewel J G10, and it's more uh, blue than green green. Not that you know guys care about that thing, but just so you know, also comes with a blue cleaning cloth and a Cancept pouch, like most of Cancept's knives. So, that was the Cancept Hazakura. 
please make sure to hit those like, share, comment, and subscribe buttons, as well as hitting the notification bell, because if you hit that bell, you will be able to see all of our new content that we post. We post giveaway uh, announcements. We have reviews. We have the AK Blade show that we do every Friday where we host uh, me and C, my co-host. We show off the newest knives and gear that the knife and camping world, outdoor gear world, whatever, has to offer. And we do it with, you know, a funny flair, you know. C's always bringing up his mother-in-law. She's a scary woman. And she just won't leave. His words, not mine. So make sure to check that out. We're also on various social media sites like Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, IGTV, and Parlor <laughs> And Instagram. So we post knife pictures, knife reviews, videos of pretty much all the knives we carry. So if you want to see anything in particular, you can always ask us on there or on YouTube, wherever. We'll do what we can to accommodate you. As always, I'm just Joel with Atlantic Knife. This was the Cancep Hazakura, and I am signing off.